Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Literature Lessons with me, the Jamaican author Nigel D. Salmon. Over the years, I've noticed that authors, especially upcoming authors, struggle to write an introduction for their book. And so in this episode, what I'm, I have done is to put together five reasons to write an introduction. And I'm going to share them with you. So if you are writing a book or you are planning on writing a book, here are five reasons to write an introduction. Reason one. Tell the reader how to use the book. You can use the introduction to tell the reader how to use the book uh, by telling them, for example, how to use the glossary, how to use references in the book, how to use the appendix, and also how to use the book to ensure that it lasts for a long time. Two. Tell what the book is about. This is very important in an introduction. You can use the introduction to tell the reader how what the book is about. For example, this is book two in the series, or this is edition, this is the second edition, and so on. Even though in terms of edition, you would state that on the, 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 the cover. But you can use the, 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 uh, the introduction to tell the reader uh, this is the second edition or this is book one in the series or um, this, is, um, this book is geared towards the LGBT community or the Seventh-day Adventist Church or whatever it is. You would, you would use it to tell the reader what the book is about. Three, give the purpose of the book. This is very important. Um, if, if, the, if the title of the book is not tailored in such a way to let the reader know what the purpose, the full purpose of the book is, then you can use the introduction to tell the reader what the purpose of the book is. For example, this book is to help those who will be doing the STXC English exam. Or this book is for those who will be entering secondary school. So give the purpose of the book. Four, give definition and background to the subject. This is important. You can further define the subject of the book without having to go into many details. And you can give a background to the subject of the book without going into many details. And the last reason is number five, which is explain what inspired the author. This is a very important reason in your introduction. Because then you can bring the reader close to your heart to let the reader know what inspired you to write the book. So I'm going to go back over the five reasons to write a, a, an introduction. One, tell the reader how to use the book. Two, tell what the book is about. Three, give the purpose of the book. Four, give definition and background to the subject. And five, explain what inspired the author thank you very much for listening i hope this has been very helpful and remember check out my other episodes as well as like my page on facebook at nigel d summon and you can check out my website nigeldsummon.com